The transportation industry is looking for a green solution that will help us to secure a sustainable future. And the adoption of electric truck is the one of the promising ones. In partnership with Volvo, Schmitz Cargo Bull, BP Pulse and Nestle, we achieved a remarkable milestone and successfully brought this first fully electric zero emission truck and trailer onto the roads. The truck that we have, uh, that you see here, is uh, the FME, which is a part of our electrical heavy-duty offering, which have been in production since uh, September 2022. If you look at the technical part of it, it uh, comes with two or three engines with six, up to 666 uh, horsepower, with an I-shift gearbox adapted for electric mobility together with a powerful battery pack of 540 kilowatt hours. First of all, trailers are not a big consumer of uh, diesel. The only thing where they consume diesel is with the, uh, with the engine of the cooling unit. If you take that out, fuel consumption is zero. Depending on the usage cases, fuel consumption of a, of a cooling unit reaches from one liter to three liter per hour of operation. Electric trailers make a lot of sense um, because they can reduce the fuel consumption of a trailer to zero. They can also support the electric truck by providing additional energy for the cooling unit, so no need to take any energy from the truck. We are standing in front of the Schmitz Cargo Bull SKOE Cool Reefer Trailer. From the outside, you don't see any difference to a standard reefer trailer because the only thing that we have changed is the middle rear axle, which means the second axle is a recuperation and generation axle. So when you brake, it recuperates energy and if you really need it, you can use it like a dynamo. And this is all to feed the electric cooling unit. The electric cooling unit from Schmitz Cargo Bull also does not differ from the conventional cooling unit. It just has an electric engine instead of a conventional engine. All the other parts of the trailer, of the cooling unit, are standard. Everything that you know and love about Schmitz Cargo Bull reefer trailers, you can still use in our electric reefer trailer. So the trailer and all its features are standard with the exception of the small part that is electric, which also means that you can use it as any other trailer. You don't need special setup, you don't need special logistics solutions, it can just float within the fleet. When it comes to payload, which is actually the biggest issue for any semi-trailer, because you want to transport as much load as you can, our trailer offers a solution that does not reduce payload which is very interesting from a logistical side, which is very interesting for economy because you are earning money with the goods you are transporting. Of course, charging and um, duration, capacity of the battery are an issue. That's why you have to think a little bit where exactly do you want to use it. This initiative is a symbol of what can be achieved when industry leaders unite with a common purpose – safe and environmental friendly transport. With a little courage and serious effort, you can bring the life something that never has been in practice before. However, it is worth to mention that for the future of transportation with electric truck and trailers, a crucial factor is a proper infrastructure. So first of all, it's the, the density of the network. Um, we're obviously building out a big network, but that is high power charging. The trucks with trailers uh, at a 40 ton size can pull through these bays. There's no uncoupling of those trailers. You're not adding to that downtime by having to uncouple a trailer, leave it in an unsecure position. So it, it makes the, the operations much smoother and safer. Um, and that network means that there's flexibility for truck operators as well to, to travel and, and know there's charging available. The second point then would be convenience. Um, so having charges in convenient locations, but also having convenient options for drivers. Having the 13 sites live today has given some flexibility and 
selecting and choosing the route for Chiteca and Nestle. Um, it means there doesn't have to be major disruptions to their operations, to their schedules, because there's a number of different sites that can be used. We look forward to having this trial and, and learning from it, but then we can see that we can scale further beyond the trial. Having again the, the 13 sites and, and the opportunity to be a bit flexible with schedules and with routes means that we can connect routes up and ultimately achieve that total cost of, of ownership benefit. Because every mile that we can convert from a diesel mile to an electric mile is an emissions saving and a total cost of ownership benefit too. Geoteca, like BP, I think are, are very ambitious and willing to take that bold first step. And doing that through this trial and, and beyond is going to give both companies confidence that we can do this, confidence to invest more and to scale further. And I hope that that will influence the rest of the market to do the same. I think we'll be able to learn a lot from the trial, what works, what doesn't, and we can implement improvements and, and improve that solution. And I look forward to seeing how this partnership will unfold in the, the coming months, years, and hopefully even decades. While today's zero emissions road transport has some challenges, cooperating with like-minded partners is crucial because we can combine our strengths, achieve better results. We develop and provide relevant solutions, but our role is also to create a platform for the main market leaders like Volvo, Schmitz Cargo Bull or BP Pulse to come together, cooperate and collectively deliver on our promises of sustainability for the customers like Nestle. Together with partners, we have set a new collaboration standard in sustainable logistics by successfully bringing the first fully electric truck and trailer for commercial use, we have made significant steps towards cleaner and more sustainable future.